Okay, now we move on to the subform object. Um, we haven't got a subform object here, so I'm going to clone this, uh, turn it into a subform, change some heights and widths and stuff like that. And I'm going to pick a form I made a little bit earlier. Put the foreign key in. Uh, that links back to the main form. And we'll set all this to something fairly standard. Alright, so there we go. We've got subform with two fields, person and an ode on it. We can go and add more records. This subform can have taps like a normal form can as well. This has only got the one tap called main. Okay, now we remove the delete checkbox, which will make it a bit thinner too. set that back to deletable and we'll set that back to grid now generally there's always a row at the bottom that can be added to sometimes we don't want that so in the sub form we can set the addable property to no so I'll refresh that you can see you don't get an opportunity to add a new record here. So that's that. 